Yes, oh, Baba Yabo, don't come again. No, who is Baba Yabo? I love calling that, calling him that instead of Baba Sonjo. Baba Yabo, don't come. <laughs> oh, Baba Sonjo, say, hey, Abi, what is it? Baba Sonjo, where is the light? Where is the money? We should be asking. I think Nigerians are, have a lot of questions to ask uh, Buhari now. Because when he came on board, he was saying he was just calling Buhari uh, Obasanjo's name. Obasanjo, where is the money? Where is the light? So uh, I just only uh, people call uh, this man Obasanjo a borrow of who. But uh, that is even by the wayside. Obasanjo said, I have always told Bishop Kuka that I will enter the kingdom of God before him. Hey! <laughs> During the sister's birthday celebration of Afe Babalola, President, former President Olusegun Obasanjo made a statement regarding his re relationship with Bishop Kuka. Obasanjo revealed that he had always told the bishop that he would enter the kingdom of God before him. In turn, Bishop Kuka expressed to Obasanjo that it was because of individuals like him that he dedicated his life to preaching the word of God. <laughs> Obasanjo shared an uh, anecdote um, about the day when he received invitations from both Afe Babalola and Bishop Kuka. The former president disclosed that Bishop Kuka had invited him for breakfast on the same day that Afe Babalola invited him to his birthday celebration. Obasanjo made the decision to attend both events. Attending the breakfast with Bishop Kuka and arriving late to Afe Babalola's birthday, birthday gathering. Okay. During the birthday celebration, Afe Babalola questioned Obasanjo about his uh, tardiness. To which Obasanjo responded by explaining that uh, he had gone for breakfast with a... Uh, okay, I think uh, it was to be tiredness. He said he had gone to for breakfast with a uh, Bishop Kuka. He humorously explained that choosing not to answer either invitation would have would have consequences if the if he ignored the bishop, he might be reported to God. And if he neglected Afe Babalola, he will face the consequences alone. Therefore, Obasanjo made sure to arrive early enough to Afe Babalola's celebration and even sent a message to inform Bishop Kuka of his plans for breakfast. This playful interaction between Obasanjo and Bishop Kuka reflected their shared understanding that Obasanjo would enter the kingdom of God before the bishop and that their mutual presence was essential for each other spiritual journeys. According to Matthew Kuka, the bishop of the Sokoto Catholic Diocese, Bola Tinumbu, is the only candidate who came preferred, prepared for the job and who has been preparing since the 1990s. If he had opted for Peter B of the Labour Party as his preferred candidate, he would have repeated. In an interview with Channel TV, the Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Catholic Diocese, Bishop Kuka, allegedly claimed that the President Muhammadu Buhari, the tandem of former presidents Goodluck Jonathan and Olusha Gombasanjo, among others, became Nigerian presidents without enough preparation. But it does, it does like the fact that the first president of what, during an interview with Arise, the Catholic Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Bishop Matthew. Asan Kuka revealed that the body language of principal actors like the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi and the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Obabaka suggests that the ball is now in the court of those. I don't know why they are not completing all these statements. Well, on a lighter note, um, that is the uh, meaning of the statements made by Obasanjo that he will enter kingdom of God before Bishop Kuka. So that was what brought about that. Mm-hmm. Well, meaning you won first. Okay, well, luckily, not all those calling thy name would enter paradise. And that is it. Obi, just they go. People go, hold your agbada, follow you for back for heaven rule. Okay, OBJ, he's talking about sense of humor. Baba OBJ lacks its, lacks its not, but what? If truly he was prepared, he would have relieved himself of the baggages that have become the beer parlor topic of discussion okay this one is referring to the preparedness of a tinubu that he talks about he was prepared to cause to continue with the hardship that uh, the past leaders have been 
plunging Nigerians into is that the kind of preparedness or preparation that he prepared since 1960 or whatever. Tinubu's criminal sentences are now the gist in every popular joint. He was really not prepared, hence his application of rascality, impunity, violence to the election, falsehood to his personality and such. Anyway, that is not even the issue but a distraction. The question on the lips of Nigeria has been, did he win the election? Did INEC follow the guidelines? Hmm, your guess is as good as mine. This Baba don't achieve everything. He won from this country since from this from the country since he was a baby up to now. That is why he talks anyhow. <laughs> oh God, please, how was he prepared and where? In the cell, or is it before he was taken to just? You are right, sir. Kuka is getting worse than politicians. Exhibition of arrogancy. That is not the that is nothing to dispute about first to enter evil means to die first. <laughs> Nobody who die accepts good uh, God Almighty. What a faith. I love that. But provided you have Jesus in your heart, sir, and take him as your Lord. Okay, this is to Obasan Joe who says he's going to enter the kingdom of God before anybody. I agree with Baba OBJ. On this, it will enter kingdom of God without resistance. Unlike Kuka, Kuka, God will ask, "How do you feed my sheep?" On this, your point, sir. I believe you so much, and God will do it for you. <laughs> so, guys, yeah. Let's know what you think. <laughs>